Hello, Kyle here. Welcome to The Garage here in St. Louis, Missouri. Wanted to give you guys an update on all of the summer travel that I'm going to be doing this summer. Hopefully going to be putting out quite a few videos on all of these adventures. Filming this the week after Memorial Day, I had a trip planned that I was going to record on Memorial Day over Memorial Day. I just didn't get around to it. I had to, too, too, fun with, too much fun with friends and I didn't pull out the camera. But this is a basically summer update on where I am with the hiker trailer, what my plans are, and also just kind of a channel update. I've also noticed that a lot of the people that watch my videos, I'm getting you know, six, seven, eight hundred people viewing my videos, but a lot of you are not subscribed. So I'd appreciate it if you click on the subscribe button down below and give me a like and a follow. It helps grow the channel. I've got a list of things that I wanted to go through. Actually, I'm going to try and go out this weekend to a place called Silver Mines, just west of Fredericktown, Missouri, in southern Missouri. I'm going to try and grab a campsite out there. Uh, first come, first serve. Well, we'll see what the weather is this weekend. Um, the weather might be an issue. If it's gonna storm all day Saturday like it is, I probably won't go out. But um, yeah, that's what uh, is in store for the short term. Longer term, I'm looking at doing a bunch of camping. It's amazing how whenever you get an RV or a camper, and you start talking about camping with friends, all of these friends that you've known for years and years and years, they come out of the woodwork and they say, oh, we bought an RV too a couple years ago. Why don't you come camping with us? So I'm heading out with a bunch of friends who I had no idea had a camper uh, to Boulder Campground at Carlisle Lake. That's over in Illinois. I'm gonna be spending some time with them at the end of June. But also I have a pretty hectic July, August, and September planned and into October. So July, I'm gonna head out to Colorado and visit my sister. Then I'm gonna go out to the Salt Lake City area and meet up with some friends, some ham radio friends. And we are going to go and drive through the Grand Tetons and then eventually head to Yellowstone and spend four days in Yellowstone. Pretty excited about that. I've never been to Yellowstone, never been to Utah, nor have I been to Wyoming. So I'm looking forward to that adventure. I think after I get done with Yellowstone, I'm going to travel up through Montana, up to what's called the Beartooth Highway, goes over this pass, mountain pass, and ends up, I think, in Red Lodge, Montana. And I'm gonna to tool around Montana for a while, and then I'm gonna come back down through North and South Dakota and do the Badlands, and then down through Nebraska, and then back home to Missouri. So that's the plan for July. August, I have a camp out with some of my ham radio friends. There is a big ham radio event in Huntsville, Alabama, and we're all going to camp at Montesano State Park. I've been doing that for years, but it's going to be the first trip with the hiker. Then in September is HTC6 at uh, Beach Fork State Park. I'm going to be doing a ham radio demo there, so if you're at HTC6, come over and say hello. I am in the, I forgot what loop I'm in. I'm not in the main loop. I'm in a secondary loop that has a bunch of hiker trailers in it. So I'll put where I'm at in the, the video here. If you wanna come over and say hello and may, maybe make some contacts on the air, you're more than welcome. Again, I'm gonna be doing a, a demo out there for Parks on the Air. It's a program that uh, you can activate uh, different state and national parks and get, uh, get points for them. It's kind of a game. So gonna be demonstrating that. Then I think after I leave HTC6, I think I'm going to head over to Shenandoah National Park and spend a couple of days there. 
And then many years ago, I drove some of the Blue Ridge Parkway. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the north part of the Blue Ridge Parkway down to the southern terminus, which is in right beside Smoky Mountain National Park, which is in Cherokee, Tennessee, I believe. So I'm going to do all 469 miles of Blue Ridge Parkway. Probably take a couple of days to do that. And then there are some, I've, I've been getting into watching motorcycle videos. I'm not going to buy a motorcycle, but these rides that uh, these motorcycle uh, people go on are, are great. They are a great source of inspiration on great roads and uh, scenic byways to travel on. There's a motorcycle route called the Tale of the Dragon in southern Tennessee that I want to do. Also in, well that's it for September. In October there is this rendezvous in the Ozarks in western part of Arkansas and I'll put some more information about it in the description. I'm going to be at that with a bunch of friends. It is, I think, somewhere near Fayetteville, Arkansas. I'll put some some B-roll in here, but I'm going to be at that. Uh, that's just, I think it's more of an overlanding camp out, kind of like what More, More Expo is, but with less vendors. So that's where I'm going to, to be at in October. That's the summer travel plans. I probably will have a couple of more campouts kind of sprinkled in there doing local stuff here around uh, Missouri. But that's the plan for today, as of today. I also wanted to do a five month update on my hiker trailer. So I've, I bought it, I put a down payment in October, I picked it up in January, and here I am the end of May, beginning of, of June, and I kind of wanted to go over all of the things that I've done. If you haven't seen some of my past videos of some of the mods that I've done, I'll link them in the description. Also, probably put some graphics up here so you guys can take a look at all of the different mods that I've done. But everything is working out great. I mean, I've had a great experience with pulling this thing, with camping in it. Uh, you know, I'm getting used to not having a bathroom, but I bought a, uh, a composting bathroom or toilet here that uh, I've been using, which is great. Um, I've got a, probably, I want to say a dozen nights in it so far, and everything has worked out. I was a little concerned about not getting an air conditioner because of the hot summers here. And granted, we haven't gotten to the, to the thick of summer yet, but you know, opening the, the hiker whenever it gets cooler at night and the max fan venting out that hot air, the, the weather has cooperated and also it hasn't been that hot in the hiker whenever sleeping because I hate sleeping whenever it's hot. I just can't stand it. So more to come on if I'm actually going to go get a air conditioner or not, you know, the Zero Breeze or the Wave Mark or one of those. I looked at those during more expo and I just didn't pull the trigger because uh, I just felt like I was going to get a little bit further into the season to see how far I could stand it or if I could go the whole season without uh, getting some type of air conditioner. Another thing I'm struggling with is trying to figure out how to pack the back galley. I probably have too much stuff in the back galley. I'll put some b-roll here. Looking at other hiker trailer owners at the Moore Expo, I noticed that they did not have their back galley as full as mine, or if they did, they pulled everything out and stuck it somewhere and I wasn't seeing all of the stuff that they pack in there, but still trying to figure out how to pack everything. Do I need this item? Do I not need this item? Um, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to put my canned food and the things that I buy at the grocery store for you know, cooking dinner and, uh, and lunches and, you know, all of the food prep. You know, I've got a refrigerator that I did a video on and that's working out great, but I'm still trying to figure out where I'm actually going to put my dry goods along with everything else. So still 
still up in the ar uh, still up in the air with that. Still trying to figure out and getting better at backing up. I haven't mastered backing up. Getting the hiker trailer in this garage has helped. Uh, my f neighbor, who has got a lot more experience than I on backing trailers up, he has helped me kind of get a route into the garage. And then obviously I, I take these uh, car dollies. And as long as I can get the, the camper into the garage, I can push it wherever I need to. So that has worked out, but it's kind of comical whenever I go to these locations and camp. Um, everyone kind of like watches you whenever you pull up. Everyone gets out to figure out who, who are you, and then also they watch you back into the campsites, which is a little unnerving. So it, it, I feel like everyone you know, has got a pair of eyes on me, uh, scrutinizing my backing up, which needs a lot of work. But the more times I take the trailer out, the, the more experience I get. I'm having one issue that I haven't told Hiker about, and I'm gonna try and get some more information, and I'm trying to get some video of it. The spare tire up here in the front, it, at about 60 to 65 miles an hour, that thing starts to wobble, and I'm a little afraid that the welds that hold that spare tire on are going to fatigue at some point, and that thing is just going to actually, you know, come off. So. I don't know if anybody else has got some wobble in their spare tire when you get to a certain speed, but uh, I'm not really sure if the tires are misaligned. I know that there has been some Facebook posts about uh, bad axles or tires that have been essentially misaligned. I'm going to take my tires off of my pallet jack or my um, car jacks and take a look to see if they are slanted in or out. Uh, I'm sure that some of you have probably seen that post on the Facebook page, and I'm actually going to take a look this uh, today to see if that's the case because of that spare tire wobble that I'm getting. Another thing that I haven't tested out yet that I want to test out, hopefully this weekend, is the shower system. I have pulled the shower enclosure out and, you know, I've tested that, made sure that's uh, good to go. That's all all uh, fine. I just haven't tested out the actual shower. Now I've used the hot water heater to heat up water and to do dishes, which is great, but I have not used the hot water heater to actually take a shower. So more to come on that. I'm sure I'm probably going to do a video on it, but when I was testing out the hot water heater, I noticed that that thing takes quite a bit of water. Whenever I got done doing dishes on my first couple of outings, I was shaking the hot water heater because I noticed that it had you know, water still left in it. And the more I shook the hot water heater, the more water came out of it. I bet you that was probably a half a gallon of water, maybe even more. So I think I'm gonna do a video on maybe how to reclaim that water and put it back into your tank. Obviously you can just dump it into a, into a bucket and then you know take a funnel and put it into your, your hiker trailer. But I was very surprised on how much water actually came out of the hot water heater after I was done with it and I was basically trying to clean it out and drain it for travel. So more to come on that. Um, just didn't think it had that much water in it, but it does. So, yeah, and I think that is about it. Again, most of you are not subscribed to this channel. I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and uh, gave me a couple of likes uh, towards the, the health of the channel. And uh, also, uh, you know, more people subscribe, gets more content out there and gets it in front of more people. I'm just trying to share my experiences on my hiker trailer purchase and all the things that I've done to it and all the adventures. So hopefully, you know, it answers a bunch of questions for new hiker owner owners and potential owners. So that is all I have for the update. Just wanted to do a quick uh, two cents on all the things that are coming up and 
uh, all of the upcoming campouts and then also the, the five month up update. So anyway, thanks for hanging around. We'll uh, see you somewhere on a campground, hopefully.